On the 19th of February 2019, so about three years ago, I did an accidental viral video about a VST plugin called Melody Sauce. What made this plugin different from everything else I've reviewed even to this very day is the ability to create melodies using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been in the forefront of news in the past couple of years, but I was a little bit ahead of the curve as well as ever be. What makes that video so great, in my opinion, was the fact that they did not provide me with the software. I purchased it for $50, thinking it was going to be snake oil. Welcome to snake oil, everybody. But, as we all know, it wasn't. So what will be the differences between this version and the old version? Well, this time it can generate chord progressions. Yeah, let's get into it. So how does the AI inside of Melody Sauce 2 work? Well, let's define the type of AI that it is. This AI is narrow AI, which takes a basic set of rules and then machine learns from those rules and further improves on those rules with the functions. So what are the functions inside of Melody Sauce? Well, the first predefined function is the key of the scale. So in hindsight, I can just select a C minor because I wanna make a C minor type track. Then you have speed where you can go fast, medium, and slow. Then the next one is loop length, where you can have long loops to short loops. The next one after that is the octaves. The next one after that is grooves, where you can set triplets or even add swing or no groove at all. Syncopation, which humanizes the chords so they don't sound very computer-like. Ironic, right? And then you can force legato. And then there are the different types. Then if you move on to here, you have simple and complex, and you can use those to define what type of melody you want, as well as the mood of the melody, which could be either light, dark, or all. So let's go ahead and test it out. So all you have to do to simply make a melody inside of Melody Sauce 2 is hit one of these corresponding pads. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I will hit the play button inside of FL Studio so we can hear the melody. Cool. Let's just say I play a C minor chord progression inside of FL Studio. So I have Cherry Audio's Dream Synth up, which is a really cheap synthesizer I like. So what I'm gonna do is record a line inside FL Studio. So let's begin. So we have something going here. And what I wanna do next is show you this feature. So with anything that is music theory driven, uh, we might not like the first instant idea if we have an idea. So what I want to do next is generate more melodies. So we have six new melodies and we'll start with number one and keep on going. Melody two. so forth. And as you can see, it has generated multiple melodies and it doesn't sound the same, which happened to be one thing that a person said. So it's all generated from scratch and not randomly made melodies. So if also, if you're wondering, if you like a melody, you can drag it and drop it into another VST plugin of your choice. And then you will have a full on melody that you can control the sound.
Still not impressed yet? Oh wait, there is more. So one of the newer features of this is different sounds that you can select. Now, to be honest, I didn't think all the sounds were great because I have a crap ton of VST plugins, guys. I can judge it that way. But other than that, uh, I didn't think it was great, but they exist. So I'm gonna start with Melody 5 and play that. Let's uh, chop this down a little bit. Let me guess, you're still not impressed. Hey, it is what it is. Now let's just say we pick out a sound that is worth using. Let's go with strings and I'll do the string section on Melody Sauce. And now I will introduce you to, a, to the other feature, which is this right here, harmonizing. So like I was saying in my initial review, I would think it would be great if it can play chords. So what we have here, if we solo a Melody Sauce, is regular melodies. So what I wanna do here is add chords by hitting this button. Let's go ahead and check another sound. Let's go dramatic strings. All right. Let's change the melody again. Let's add a dark melody and hit the pad and everything is good to go from here now what i want to do next is show you the advanced editor where you can pick out different chords of your liking depending on your knowledge of music theory you can create some extravagant stuff yeah Now, let's add that back inside of the original track. Bruh, at this point, I don't even care what you think because I'm going to use this a whole bunch. So now that we covered that, let's talk about the UI in itself. Like I said earlier, it's using different functions and data points to come up with those melodies on the fly every single time. So we have these following things. We have speed. Let's go ahead and adjust that and make a faster melody real quick and hear it. Yeah, and you can change the octaves, of course, and then drop it down. You can also, as long as you're within the melody that you generated, you can continue uh, to edit everything on the fly. Like the, the AI will pick it up and it will adjust accordingly. Uh, they added some reverb and delay and chorus effects, but what makes me truly happy is the style effect right here. Now, when you go to styles, you do need to reset scale so i'm going to reset that now i will generate something out of the trap bass melodies let's hear that i'm gonna turn up the sound This is indeed happening in real time right now. So the next thing that I wanna cover is the styles. So you have different styles 
by default, and I've tested it out on the live stream if you want to check that out, but uh, you have the following, trap, hip hop, EDM, tropical, house, techno, pop, reggaeton, and R&B, which is a further extension of what the AI has in terms of machine learning. So therefore, you have things that will cater to a specific style of the music that you're creating. Did that make sense? Anyways, let's test this out in other dolls. So this isn't an FL Studio thing. It does work in all DAWs. Uh, there is a caveat to the MPC software, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but it, it wouldn't harm you if you still purchased it. it there is great use. Uh, so I'm gonna generate a melody, and we have two different melodies here. Uh, we're still at like 120 BPM. It does sync to the BPM uh, that you use, by the way, so you don't have to worry about that either. So what I'm gonna do here, is make a medium as well, just, just to save grace. Let's go triple it on one of these. And now let's go ahead and hear that. Let's adjust the reverb. For argument's sake, let's use a piano sound. So, so let's go ahead and drag this over into a clip and then initiate the clip so that you can hear it. And I will turn Melody Sauce off for right now in terms of the internal sounds. Now I know somebody will have a problem with that, so let's go ahead and do a C minor because that's what I wanna hear. Boom. Just to show you the potential of artificial intelligence when it's used with other artificial intelligence based software. Yes, you heard right. The MPC software, the Live X1 and the MPC Studio have built in artificial intelligence. Indeed. I'm about to truly test this. So what I'm gonna do is play a melody. So I just played some jazz chords. So I wanna see how well can Melody Sauce 2 hang with these progressions. Let's keep on generating. Let's do a light melody. And let's finish it off with some harmonizing. Change the sound. So yeah, it does work with the MPC software and I'm pretty sure it will work with the machine software. So the only caveat would be dragging and dropping the MIDI and routing it. And that's kind of the thing with the Groovebox bass. DAWs that are out, and that's just an unfortunate caveat. But it works in all other DAWs. Do, Do I, I give this, this VST AI driven, driven plugin, plugin the stamp, stamp of, of approval. approval? Narrow AI for the win, 100%. Oh, yeah, I'm cheating music theory, and what you gonna do about it?